Hello, this is Temu from Net9 and today we are going to go through how to connect to your Minecraft server's FTP with your Windows computer. So first, let's log in. Now that you're logged in, go to Files and FTP File Access. Here we can see the credentials to our FTP server. So I have my computer open here. You can open it from, from this icon on your computer. And just go to add a network location. And next, next. Then we'll need to copy our address from the host part here. And we'll just type here FTP double dot slash slash. And then paste our address. Then tick next, untick log on anonymously. Hard word. Then copy FTP username from here and paste it in. Keep in mind though that if your FTP username has the at mark, such as this one I wrote here, you will need to replace the at mark with percent mark 40. So if, if this was my FTP username, if, if this was my FTP username, I'd have to do this to it. This is a Windows limitation and you need to do this, otherwise it won't let you log in. But in this video I don't, I don't have the at mark here. You probably do, so please do so. Then we click next and then type something for the name of this network location. You can type anything you want. Net9 Minecrafts. Next, then finish. Okay, now it's connecting to the network location. This might take a, take a while. FTP is quite a slow protocol. So, yeah, now it connected. It's asking for your password, so type your password here. And keep save password ticked. If it's not ticked, please tick it. So that you can easily access your server later on. So log on, and here we can see our server's files. So let's edit something, just to show you how this works. So I have a new, new folder here called my server. So let's copy bucket.yml here. Then we'll just edit it, and let's disable end false, and hit save. And then we'll just copy it here. It'll ask if do you want to override it. Of course we do. We'll click yes. And now it's on the server. So we can go, go back to Multicraft and just restart the server. And new configuration will be enabled on this restart. So I hope that this was helpful for you and thanks for watching. See you next time.